Who are these weirdos? You kind of have to think that that was what was going on on Pentecost as we hear it in Acts 2. You had this group of disciples, these men and women, who had devoted themselves to the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to the prayers. Now, we can't skip over that little phrase, they devoted themselves. Sometimes it's translated, they continued steadfastly. Maybe they obsessed over it. This drove everything that they were and everything that they are and everything that they would ever be. One of my favorite words is the word monomaniac. They were monomaniacs about Jesus. This one person was all that mattered. Now, it did not begin on that day. In some ways, I suppose we could look back at Matthew 16 in that episode where Peter confesses, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus says to Peter that flesh and blood has not revealed this, but my Father who is in heaven. You see, the gift that they received was a gift that could only come from God himself. I believe that I cannot, by my own reason or strength, believe in Jesus Christ, my Lord, or come to him. But the Holy Spirit has called me by the gospel, enlightened me with his gift, sanctified and kept me in the true faith. The Holy Spirit called these, these disciples, soon apostles, so that what they would be about is the apostles' doctrine. What doctrine? The doctrine. The doctrine of Jesus Christ, both God and man, who came into our flesh, who died our death, and who rose again from the dead so that we might live and be in fellowship with him forever. And the fellowship, koinonia, communion, that there was a bond between them and us, that is greater than death itself. That bond is the blood of Jesus Christ, which cleanses us from all sins. The breaking of the bread. Do I have to tell you what that is? Really? The altar. Jesus himself, his own body and blood given for them. And the prayers. Because if they were one body in fellowship with God and with one another, then those prayers, that conversation between God and Jesus that they were now a part of would continue and go on forever. We might call that the liturgy. Something like that at least. So these monomaniacs gathered and preached the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ and these weirdos spoke of the promise. For the promise is for you and for your children and for all who are afar off, everyone whom the Lord our God will call. That's a big word, isn't it? Promise. The promise is for you, for each one of you. The promise of Jesus' death and resurrection for the salvation of the world is for you. That's the gospel right there. And on that promise, Christ builds his church. As he said to Peter, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. That promise, I will build my church means that this word, this meal, this water, this flesh and blood given and shed for us will always do what God says and that he always does these things for you, for you, always and forever for you. I feel like we should maybe change that a little bit 
and say for the promises for y'all. <laughs> Maybe all y'all, I don't know. The promise always brings us in, draws us together, makes us one in Jesus Christ. Because that promise is never for just one of us. It is for all of us. Sinners, one and all, no matter how great or small our sin may feel or appear in our eyes, the promise is for you. No matter what you look like, where you've been, where you come from, the promise is for you. And so that early church devoted themselves to the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to the prayers. And so do we. Luther once said, thank God a child seven years old knows what the church is, namely, holy believers and lambs who hear the voice of their shepherd. That is why we are gathered here even now, to hear that voice, to receive that promise, to confess that faith. You are the Christ, the son of the living God. I don't know about you. Kind of makes me feel like a weirdo. And maybe that's pretty good company. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>